everybody, and welcome in for episode six of season two of All Club Confidential. I'm your host, Austin Price. Exciting show tonight. we got two true freshmen coming out, that being David Hobbs and Arian Carter, two young balls that have really found their way early on in this football season onto the field into some key snaps, and we'll talk to them coming up. But before that, we bring in Will Watkins of Spire. And, and Will, you you look at you know this tailgate coming up, up this Saturday, night game, 7.30, Everybody's won revenge after that loss last year at South Carolina. It should be a phenomenal atmosphere, and it all starts with the tailgate, which should be going pretty much all day. Absolutely. We're going to be there all day. We're going to get there early. We're going to go hard and be loud, cheer on the balls. You know, it is a revenge game. We're excited. I can already feel the excitement. So we're going to be at the spot that we're always in, uh, right next to McClung Tower on the lawn. So we want you to show up. We'll have all you can eat, drink, the usual. So it's going to be a great time. Uh, a new twist this tailgate. So we are going to choose one lucky participant at the tailgate that's going to get to throw a ball 25 yards to hit a target. And if you hit it, you get $25,000. So you definitely want to be there. Get your tickets. Make sure you're signed up at a checkerboard or higher level to get access to the tailgate. And you don't want to miss this. Man, the chance to win twenty five grand that's that's pretty spectacular right there. The memberships continue to go up. Absolutely. When Did you feel like you just kind of hit that? broke through the ceiling a little bit because it was like a little bit a little bit and then all of a sudden it was like real more steady yeah absolutely at certain points you know all the members are doing their part they keep telling a friend that's telling a friend and so the word's out there and everybody wants to be a part of it they don't want to miss out so just keep doing that keep telling everybody you know and we'll continue to climb all right tonight's show two true freshmen arian carter dave and hobbs let's bring them in Joined by the pride of Charlotte, North Carolina, and the pride of Rutherford County. You guys have been on campus, uh, you know, about eight, nine months here. What What's that been like? I mean, it's been, it's been crazy. I wouldn't say like crazy, but like now, like in the season, like watching it last year, like you don't really expect it, but it's everything that goes into it, like it's crazy. Like the, from like traveling, I've never been part of something like that before. But just like just regular living, like I like it. I like living by myself. I'm used to it, but but just always being around your friends, it's like always around your boys. Like you live with them, like yeah, you really start to get a get a bond and with each other on and off the field. Um, the chemistry and you know, it just makes us comfortable. You know, with telling each other the truth. You know, when like hey, you need to be in this gap or hey, he like me and him, we can converse and talk to each other without holding back. You know, um, but for me, it's been a great experience just being a hometown um, kid, per se. You would say, like, home state kid, um, not being too far from home, family being able to come in and see me when they want to or if they want to see me. Um, or me being able to go home has been great. But just being on campus, it's been real good. Um, just meeting new faces, um, being able to – just have that sense of independence has been real good. And then, obviously, the football aspect, um, you got to love it, really. You breathing, sleeping, and eating football all day long with classes, too. I've been able to adjust well, so it's been good. You are eat up by the game. I mean, I go back to your your senior year. I mean, it's it's it's, it's what you do. Like, I mean, you know, you just kind of dive into it. You know, yeah. how much have you felt like that's helped you get on the field early? I feel like it's helped a lot. Um, just taking that same mindset as um, from high school of wanting to get my name out there with me being late on the scene and um, taking that same hunger that I had and putting it into um, where we are now, you know, being able to want to compete every day, being around the best, facing the best, you were in the best conference um, in college football, you know, it's just made me a better player overall, playing a long size like dudes like him you know they making me better and obviously i'm making them better so um it's been good it's been good you guys were both you know late additions per se because everybody commits in may and june july yeah. you both you know you committed in november was november, it yeah. yeah and then you committed in december we taped the thing mm -hmm. you know in in you know uh, in last year in november uh yeah. And then you committed right there after that. Um, and, of course, we taped your thing in your bedroom, which was all together creepy. But it was what it was. <laughs> yeah. You were hiding out from the Alabama coaching staff. Um, what uh, – have you all kind of bonded over the fact you all were kind of like the last guys in? 
Well, I mean, I didn't I didn't know that he had committed late per se until like maybe a couple months ago, you know, and it just like we both stepping on the scene so late. Um I really didn't know. We just we just kind of clicked when we got here. Like when we the first time like we really like it was the basketball game we went yeah. to when we first got here. Like that's really the first time I really talked to the AC for real. Like when, when they played Kentucky, maybe it was like nah, when we, we first got played, here. They played Texas. This tech, yeah, Texas. Yeah. Then we hung out like that night, and then like ever since then, like we just whenever we're free, we always we do something. Yeah. What is it you like about each other? AC, he's more of a your chill dude. So whenever he's with me, like you know. He brings more of his his uh his funnier, more active side out, but I know like the real AC like AC he's a cool dude, chill dude. He could do like anything, talk about anything. Like he's always he's always gonna be there. Yeah, just knowing the fact that you know we can just keep it real. Honestly, you can have any conversation from where it comes from basketball, football, um, just us. Like we really connected on that too. Just us being being able to um, talk about sports and like other than football, you know, get away from that um, life and then just hoops in general. You know, he used to play basketball. You know, he's tough, so you know we was able to uh, go and play pickup. You know, in the off season a couple times and just you know we, us running together. You know, it's, it's a dynamic duo. Yeah. He, you know, he's like the only dude I can listen to Drake around without someone trying to roast yeah. me or something. Like, everybody's yeah. always hating on they Drake. They hating on Drake, man. Me, me and AC, like, he's always gonna be in the playlist. We're always gonna play him. Like everybody else, like, they just hate on Drake. <laughs> that's that's one thing we connect <laughs> on too, music style. You bring up basketball. He's one of the few people I know that literally, like most people, if they're graduating early, they just don't play their senior year. Yeah. He played up until the last minute he could play. Yeah. I mean, like, kind of take me through that. I mean, you just love basketball. I mean, I know that's really kind of your first love. Yeah, like, me coming into high school, like, I'd always go in the gym and work out, like, when I was middle school. And I always look at the wall, like, thousand-point wall. I was I want to be on that one day. So, like, before the season started, I asked Coach, like, how many points do I have left to get it? So I was like, I forgot the number he told me. I was like, i get that before I had to leave. So I literally played all the way – up until like the last week before I moved in up here, I got my thousand points versus Carmel Christian. They're like number twenty five in the country at the time, so that, that was a good game to get it. I got that, and then next day went to the uh, the All American Bowl. Like hopped on the flight the next day, then came nice. back for like a week and came down here. So you got up on the board. Yep. Have you seen your name on the board? Not yet. I'm hoping I get to go sometime after the season. I go look at it. Hopefully they have it up by now. I mean, your dad's the principal. Yeah. I mean, you can't you can't just send me a picture. I, I haven't even thought about that. I, I gotta text him after this. <laughs> no, for real. My dad the principal. I'm asking. <laughs> have Have you showed off the basketball skills up here for any of these for any oh, of your teammates? Yes. Right. Well, I'm like yes. on the team. I'm the LeBron on the team. For bad like. You mean you're the Jordan? I'm the LeBron. You mean like, you're the Jordan? Nah, nah. LeBron's uh, the goat. Like, LeBron, LeBron does everything. Like, I'll go on the – during the offseason, we go on the T-Rack. When we get something to the court, I mean, we would run the court until we left. No, for real. We wouldn't get off. Well, if you weren't playing football, what what, what sport's your, what's your sport? If I wasn't playing football? Yeah. What other sport did you enjoy growing up? I love running track. I like running track. I like base, I like basketball. One sport I wish I did play was baseball because I have a brother who yeah. plays baseball. And it just going, growing up and going to his games late nights, like, I just wanted to play so bad, but I couldn't. I was always a three-sport athlete. I say I say if I wasn't playing bas- – if I wasn't playing basketball, if I wasn't playing football or basketball or ran track, I was good at wrestling. I used to wrestle in middle school all the way up to my sophomore year in high school. You look back at exactly about this time a year ago is when you just blew up. Yeah. When you think back about it, just like the whirlwind year you had, mm-hmm. like, is that pretty crazy? Yeah, it is. It's like one of those, like, crazy stories that, like, it felt like a movie. You know, that happens, like, just every so often. And it rarely in cases my situation, senior year, you know, like, just I thought I was going to be playing football in Memphis, you know, and then just 
getting an offer from Vandy and then getting an offer from Wake Forest and then and then boom. I mean boom. it was Auburn, Alabama, and then boom, it just from there it just took off. I couldn't even I couldn't even send out posts fast enough of like getting offered schools was offering left and right. It was crazy. It was I'm, crazy. Like yeah, you had like like forty in like a like a week and like yeah. Then you were like tweeting, like I can appreciate their offer from Army. I'm like, why are you tweeting this offer from Army? Like, I mean, like, like, like and, I, and it wasn't Army. It was just like a school equivalent of that. Like, I mean, you're like, <laughs> yeah, they was. I mean, because it's a it's a blessing. I mean, uh, just to be in that situation, you know, like just looking back on everything, like I just I didn't have the opportunities that I did at that time, so I just was grateful for everything. Because at the same way that it could be given to me, same way it could be taken away in the instant. So you know be appreciative of it and you know be blessed that you even got it so that's why i did it these two are two of my favorites as far as like they're just well spoken like you can have a conversation with them it's, you know because i mean like yeah i would call you guys i mean how many times do we do an interview not very many like we did it at the end yeah. but like a lot of times it's just you know shooting the bull and just kind of yeah. you know yeah. talking you know talking through things yeah what 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 was the recruiting process I mean, we know it was hectic late but i mean like from from that standpoint like did you enjoy all that I mean, like, at the beginning, like, going to these schools, like, photo shoots, uh, talk to, like, the reporter after the game. Like, the first couple of times, I was like, oh, I mean, it was fun. Like, it was something new. Like, you always dreamed of being in a situation. But, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, towards, like, the middle, I used to, I used to hate. You were done with I it. I used to hate calling people, texting people. They always be like, can we do an interview? I'm like. Can we do over text or something? Like, <laughs> sometimes when it get like, it just got so like repetitive. Like, what was the middle for you? What like, was, like that time the middle on? for me. So like, I would say, right before like, the summer going into like right before I took most of my OVs like that summer. Like, I got a lot of them that like that spring going into like, right in the middle, the like, beginning of the summer. So then right before like the season started. Your senior year. Yeah. Yeah. It was, you had no middle. I mean, it was just kind of like start and boom. Yeah. Uh, I had a – I mean, as far as like power five offers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, like I would take visits. I would take visits on – um, like it was cool a couple times. Like I would go to Vanderbilt before they offered me and like just like hoping to get offered. And um, But as far as like going to other schools, um, after getting offered from them, like – Going to Alabama, going to Ohio State, going to um, different other schools, you know, like it was it was crazy. Um, I enjoyed every bit of it just because, like, man, I'm putting on a uniform of like schools I've dreamed of, like going to. I, it was crazy, and then coming up here, coming up here was like one of the craziest things. Like seeing the orange and um, white checkerboard stadium. I, and when I first got here, I thought it was like that was like just the way the stadium was painted. I didn't realize that was actual people. I was like, wow, this is crazy. And funny story, I didn't even plan on going to the Florida game last year. And I somehow, my dad convinced me, he was like, let's just go, you know, let's just go see. Um, so we ended up going, and it was last minute. And I'm texting Coach BJ, like, hey, I'm on the way. We're in traffic. You know, traffic's terrible. We, Anyways, we get down there, and we get the last bus that's taken for the recruits to get down to Neyland. And, like, the bus is, like – so we missed Vol Walk, and it was, like, nothing but people crowding in the streets, orange and white. I'm seeing people yeah. in overalls and cowboy hats. And, like, I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. Like, it was, like, a culture shock for me just because I've never seen – I've never seen nor been around that type of environment. And then just to see it – from a point from a bird's eye view of just like everything and the crowd stadium how loud it was it was crazy it was crazy. that was my ov game like that's when i first met vison yeah i, I yeah. was surprised i didn't meet you well that, yeah i was there but that weekend it was crazy because that's when college game day came and so i, yeah. I would have went to that and like after the thing after coach high was on there we walked like the back of the buses and like said what's up to him like, i thought that was the craziest thing ever out like everybody just standing, they did like on the hill. It was yeah. crazy. But um, back to what I was saying, like, just like it was, it, it was, that was good. But then the I say enjoy like going to schools was was fun, seeing different people, meeting coaches, um, seeing the players and get, picking their brains was good. It was just the interview for me, like 
being a, a hot topic, so to speak, like you have, I'm talking about, I got on Twitter 50 to 100 unread text messages right now, um, just from, like still, if not more, from like so many interviewers like trying to interview me, and I couldn't do it. It was just so stressful because you have you be in the middle of school in math class. I remember, and I'm going to uh, lunch, and I'm just seeing like, "Hey, do you have any free time when you do? Can we please interview you?" And da, da, da. and you're such a good kid. Like, you, like I don't want to say you, no. I know. I remember this. Like, I don't, you, you, don't want to. You struggle no. to say no. To yeah, things. I struggle to say no. And then you know, I had to talk with a couple people, and they were like. You know, you don't have to say yes every time. You know, you have a life to live, too. So I, I learned quick to say no, and no could be my best friend. So <laughs> it got quick. It got it got old quick on that part. And then I say towards the end, December, when we, I started narrowing, narrowing schools down, um, like I just didn't want to go on no more visits. I said, hey, I'm going with these three schools, and I'm going to pick the school I want to go to. Best part of your, you know, first three games, for four games is what? I would just say, like, experiencing, like, like the travel, like, to the game. Like, yes. I remember we went to Nashville the first game, and, like, we pulled, like, the bus and we got off the exit. There was just people just, like, parking their cars on the side of the road, like, getting out of the cars recording and waving. Like, I've never seen anything. Like, I'm from, like, I'm from North Carolina, like, the basketball state. We have so many schools down there. Nobody really just cheers for, like, one school like there's UNC, Duke, NC State, Wake Forest, Wake Forest. There's yeah. just so many schools that everybody cheers for, but like Tennessee, like everybody's volunteer fan. Like just seeing that, like even like just walking in the hotel, there's just people just standing downstairs, like video, video. Right? Like they're coming, like, and then literally, like my mom was my mom wanted to come to the Vol Walk for the first home game. She's like, we went to get food. It was like. Probably like eleven o'clock. They said people already standing out there for to see the ball walk. I'm just like, that that part to me is crazy. Like just there's all that. I'm also like the hotels we stay in, and I, all like the food, the drink. Like there's just let me like, I've never like I've never stayed in nice hotels like that before growing up. So all that's just crazy. Yeah, for me, the best part was um, first game. You know, going back to Nashville. Um, being from that area, having the whole city behind me, um, going into that game, and just like it's funny going and in, going into the stadium um, on game day, like I'm literally seeing all my friends walking into the stadium, going to like where the interest of all walk is, and like you just get so excited because you like, wow, like you living out your dream and your first game ever stepping on a college football field is gonna be in your home home state and hometown like it's it's crazy so that was the uh one of my favorites and then ball walk ball walk was one of my favorites because like i said i missed it last time so i never got to experience it so seeing everybody around you cheering you on and um just getting that whole that, like how loud it was it was crazy can you feel like the energy from the from all that like kind of transform into you yeah, you know, like you know, what I mean, like just the like you just get so amped up. It's it's, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, like, it is. I remember my first, like the first time I went in the game versus Virginia, like just running out to the field and just like, like before the play even started, like before I even like looked at the call, just standing out there. If I, I've never felt anything like that before, like running it was the craziest tea. thing ever. Yeah, running through the T and then like just seeing the. uh fireworks and just like seeing like everybody like ah so loud running through the T and then like you get you take a take a second and you just look around and it's like all these people you got a hundred and some thousand people just screaming for this like one moment like in a game it's crazy you got a, a portion of your class is really pushing you know Ricky played down in Florida both yeah. of you guys obviously played Caleb um, had Tyree not, you know, hurt the hip, you know, I, I think he was mm -hmm. going to be a, a, a factor in, in play. Um, and then some other guys, too. I mean, how close is your all's class? Real close. Our class is like – It's a big it's, freshman class. It's, yeah. I would say, like, there's definitely, like, little, like, clicks. But, like, you, I'll, I'll find myself hanging out with, like, everybody. Like, we always see, like, a lot of us, like, played, like, basketball. So, like, we bond, like, over, like, arguing about – Sports is goofy stuff. I was at dinner. I was living at Stokely. Like, 
my room, we got the big TV in my room. One of our roommates has a couch in there. Everybody be in my room. We just all chill in there sometimes whenever we get bored. Just, I'd probably say, like, me being in, like, a high school team, like, I was always close to everybody, but I just feel like there's so many people here that I'm, like, actually close with. I'm like, oh, I call somebody, oh, let's go get food, like, just like that. Yeah. Is the number one click or tandem John Slaughter and, and Ricky Gibson? Because those two dudes are always with each other. John, and they look alike, too. Ricky, <laughs> C2, Jordan. If you see one of them, you see, you see, yeah, you see all three yeah, of them. Yeah, like the corners, the corners, like corner safety, DB core, like – they they first of all they live together like and when we got a chance to actually like move once we got out of spring and yeah, went in like the summer, summer you was able to um pick your roommates and uh they they instantly like got together him john ricky christian jordan matthews they all together so if you see one you bound to see them all together like that's the one click but even then like i feel like with me personally like i can go and hang out with them anytime and then bouncing be with David and um be with Dave and Deshaun and uh Tyree or I can go and hang off um with Caleb or anybody like it's I feel like and we can all do it together like I, I know like we can go out and, and all have a good time together you know go out and team bond is like it's not just one side versus the other you can't name each other most impressive freshman is who me personally I would say AC because like Oh, I said you can't, can't name each other. Oh, oh, oh. Can't say first, me. first freshman, I would say. Oh, uh, probably Caleb Herring, honestly, because like, just his like, just his love for the game and like, I remember after like fall camp, even spring ball, like, as soon as practice over with, he's on, he's on Thundercloud, already watching film, like, he's just always like talking football, like he knows what he's talking about, like me, like. I'm still, like, my football IQ is not all the way there yet. I'm just really now starting to really, like, get into it. But, like, Caleb, like, his love for the game is, is crazy. Like, he he's he put so much of, like, so much effort into it. And, like, him fighting, like, his, like, his little, like, injuries, like, him grinding in the training room, like, it's, I would say it's, it's inspirational to, like, to a point, like, it's just, he just does so much. With me, uh... It's hard. It's hard because you got talent. Oh, like I feel like our class is just loaded with talent. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna sound biased, but like I just like hang. Like I'm around these guys every day. So like, if I just had to say one, I can't really say one. I feel like <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. I feel like I feel like as a whole, like Jeremiah T. Lander and um, Jalen Smith, like especially with uh, with me being with T. Jeremiah every day, like that man, he loves football. He loves football, and um, with his dad being a coach, like he's a student of the game, you know. So just being able to pick his brain and um, him playing linebacker for a long time, and with me just like kind of stepping on the scene at the middle linebacker position, I'm kind of asking him a couple questions while while he's asking me questions, and we able to uh, piggyback off each other. And with Jalen. Jalen, he's just he has just a natural God given ability to get to the football. You know, like when you look at his highlights, it stands out. Like he's getting to the quarterback, QB rushes, sacks, tackle, TFLs, it's crazy. Um, so with those two, I feel like those are like one of the two guys like that are real impressive to me just because I see them every day and seeing the like growth and where they came from spring to summer now, it's been really good. You talk about how you're just you you're getting there as far as like, you know, being a student of the game, mm -hmm. do you find yourself falling in love with the game of football more and more every day? Because, I mean, like, football was kind of like this thing you did when yeah, basketball yeah. wasn't going on. And yeah. now, all of a sudden, it's your sport. Yeah. I would say more than around it, like, just, like, there's definitely times when I'm just, like, man, like, tired. But, like, just, like, seeing the environment on Saturdays, like, that really just motivates me to be better and better, like, each day at practice, like, Coach G, Coach Chop, and Coach Ayers, like, they, like, when I got here, like, I didn't even know, like, really how to, like, use my hands at all, and, like, now I'm, like, starting to pick it up and getting better at it, like, I didn't, like, I played football, but, like, I really didn't, I didn't work out, like, it's just something I did, but now, like, I'm actually starting to understand stuff, like, how to play a cutoff block, a reach block, like, all that stuff, so... The more like 
I'm learning, the easier it gets. So, like, the easier it gets, the more confidence you have, uh, the more fun it is. So I would definitely say as time goes on, the more and more I, I love the, fo- like, the sport of football. The nutrition staff, the strength staff, <clears throat> and they've changed your all's bodies a lot. I mean, you've put on a bunch of weight, you know, um, muscle actually. But, you know, like Caleb actually put on weight because he went from, yeah. like, you know, bean pole to, like, <laughs> legit, like, edge yeah. guy, right? I mean, yeah. when he got here, he was, like, 206, yeah. and now he's up over 230. Nah, I mean, like – That's crazy. He he was he, 205 yes. when he got here. His dedication, like I said earlier, is crazy. Now. Like, every day – every time you see him, protein shake – Protein shake. He's got a carries Chocolate his background milk. bag full of protein shakes. Like he he comes. He goes to the store to eat dinner. Oh, going to go get more food just to keep his calories up. Like, and then he leave. He bring two bag two uh two things of food in his room and eats it all. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't see. How so he can, can throw it away. He can put it away, huh? <laughs> he can. What's the most impressive thing you've seen him eat? Like as far as amount. I remember when he was first like. Trying to gain weight. He would drink two protein shakes before and after every yes. meal. Before and after every meal. And he'd always be complaining, oh, my stomach. I'm like, dude, you just drank 20 protein shakes in like <laughs> an hour. Like, I've seen him. Expect, like, yeah. like, that was the craziest thing. Like, he, he's, 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 so, he's dedicated to bettering himself yeah. to like the max. Yeah, I seen him I seen him put down two two uh, ribeye steaks and um some – some um what do you have? he had some ribeye steak, broccoli, um, and some like fries and like he ate it all in like thirty minutes, <laughs> and then he drank the protein shake, <laughs> the Gatorade chocolate milk protein shake. That sounds like when you go to one of those restaurants and like if you eat the like seven thousand ounce burger, you get to have your picture on the wall. Uh, like that sounds yeah, like no, nah, he's doing that every day. Yeah, like he does that every day, like willingly. I said, I said all last year when he when he wasn't putting on that weight, he will do it once he gets back around Elijah. Like you know, he I, I think that was almost like you know it, he was kind of missing that link, and now he kind of has Elijah beside him, and you know, it, it, I think that's a big big thing for Caleb. Yeah, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say just him being around his his brother a lot. I mean, obviously, like like I say, like with the work ethic and like just knowing that he's along his brother and working, you know, obviously that plays a part, but I feel like him having the resources, like I feel like he didn't have the resources. Like, yeah, I agree Like I that. didn't either, like in high school, like come, we come from the same county, you know, you getting fed twice a day, the meals aren't. Which isn't like, that bad though too. Like, yeah, yeah, like, they not like, they not the best, but even at times, like sometimes you're not hungry and you're not getting, you're, it's not mandatory to go get lunch or uh go get breakfast. So like, we didn't have to, whereas now it's mandatory. So he's 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 putting the um he's putting the responsibility on himself to go actually do it because he knows he has the resources. Like like me, I, I think like that too. I'm pretty sure he could say the same thing. What's your goals? Like I want goals for the rest of this year, and then I want goals long term. Man, for the rest of this year, really to be like, just to keep, like keep on my on my growth, like to keep just. Understanding the game of football, getting better on the field, uh, just getting used to like being more physical with these big dudes, like these like grown men, uh, just like that. And I'll probably say like keep striving to be for like a freshman All American, uh, like awards like that. And then like the long term, like I would say, just pushing myself to be to be the best, like be the best defensive tackle in college football, like D lineman. Just, I want to just get to the point to where, like, how people view, like, Jordan Davis or, like, Jalen Carter, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, like, that's that's that guy. Like, that's what I'm trying to strive for, to be that guy. Uh, but that's really that. Uh, with me, it's, like, short, short term this year, um, really just ball. Like, you know, show everybody, like, I want Arian Carter to be a household name, you know, like that's one of the biggest things. Um, just to know, like I want people to know me for being fast, physical, and getting to the football. Um, and like this goal, like being freshman All American, um, fre- uh, SEC freshman uh, of the year. Um, you know, any freshman, any freshman award you can think of, you know, I'm going for it. Obviously, as I feel like any freshman should, you know. It, um, and then long term, I just want people to. I just want people to. I want Arian Carter to be a household name first, and then at the end of the day, and when my career is over with, I want people to say he's one of the best to ever do it, if not the best. So that's that's my goal. Um, 
And you know it's always great if you can get that gold jacket on your back and, and say you got it. You're big time now. There we go. If you can. If you can. I mean, as long as you put the work in, why not? No, 100%. There's got to be a, a belief system there. Yep. And, uh, you know, you're playing. You're playing early. Um, you know, and, and you, you know these two will be out there at Neyland Stadium Saturday night, 7.30, Tennessee and South Carolina. Big game, cool uniforms. These two freshmen will have a big say in how Tennessee does on the defensive side of the ball coming up Saturday night. We appreciate you guys for joining us. Sir, thank you. Thank you.